Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Zundere Lagito Malingi or just for me, Teacher Zundere. A licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Magandang araw, muli ako po si Teacher GM. Ngayong hapon tatalakay po natin nagmula sa grade 8. At ang topic po natin ngayon tungkol po ito sa linear equation. At bago ang lahat, ano nga ba ang linear equation? At okay, linear equation, a linear equation is a first degree equation that represents a line. Meaning, ito ay a degree of equation that nagrepresent siya a line. So this equation commonly have one variable and usually look like for example, 4x four uh, x equal 12 or something like 3y plus 2 equal 13. So these are the example of linear equation. Okay, nasundan. So ngayon, we are trying to figure out the variable in this equation. Okay, I have here an example. So, the sum of 43 and the number is 89. What is the number? Okay, again, the sum is 43 and the number is 89. What is the number? So, paano natin ito is solve? And linear equation. So, let's find out. Okay, to solve this problem, let us show that the number is equal to x. So, our equation will look like this. So, we have, meron tayong 43 plus x yes because the sum is 43 and a number a number that is x s meaning s s represents our equal to 89 so done okay then let's find the value of x so what is the value of x okay anyone so what is the value of x so Para makuha natin ang value ng ating x. Okay, solve natin. Okay, so we have 43 plus x equals 89. So now, ngayon, kinahanap natin yung value ng ating x. So ano nga ba ang value ni x? In real life, may halaga ba si x? Okay, let's find out. Yes, sa totoong buhay may halaga si x. Kasi, nang dahil ka x, mas natuto tayong lumaban, mas natuto tayong bumangon, mas natuto tayong paano magmahal ulit. Ayan, mas natuto tayo sa ating mga sa ating mga pagkakamali. Ayan, yun po ang value ni X. Kaya ang tanong, mahalaga ba si X o hindi? Ayan. Ang kasagutan, nasa sa inyo na yan. <laughs> okay, let's go. Find the value of X. So now, dito ilagay natin yung X. Tapos, copy yung 89. Ayan, naubusan tayo ng e. Tas, next, ang uh, 43. Anong dapat natin gawin sa 43? I-transfer natin sa ibang side. Magiging, since positive, ito ay magiging negative 43. Okay, next. So, we have, no. So, x equal 89 minus 43. That is, we have 40. 6. Is it the value of our x is 46? Very good. So, this is our answer. So, ngayon, therefore, the number that we are looking for is equal to 46. So, there are another problems in linear equations which are, which are a bit too complex. Okay. Example number 2. 12 less than 5 times a number is 52 more than a number. So, what is the number? So, ngayon, 12 is less than 5 times a number. So, ibig sabihin, less than. Ano ibig sabihin ng less than? Minus. So, we have, ayan, 5x minus 12 equals x plus 52. 
So, 12 less than 5 times. Ibig sabihin, 5x minus 12 and less than x rep represents ating negative sign. And then, s 52 more than a number. Ibig sabihin, more than a number is x plus. More than, ibig sabihin, nag-represents sa ating positive and more than a number, 52. So, we have positive 52. So, what is the number? So, hinahanap natin yung value sa x. So, ngayon, since dalawa nating x, ano ang dapat natin gawin? So, i-combine natin. So, we have 5x. Since positive, magiging negative equal. Kapiyon natin yung 52. Yung negative 12, magiging positive 12. Okay, next. What will you do? I-combine natin yung dalawa. So, magiging 5x minus x. That is 4 x. Asundan. Equals. 52 plus 12. That is 64. Nakuha. Okay. 64. Now, is it a final answer? Hindi pa. So, i-divide natin both side by 4 equal. Cancel natin yan. So, x equal 64 divided 4. That is we have 16. So, ang ating value sa x is x equal 16. Asundan. Okay, another example. So, system and linear equation. Well, linear equation pertains to one variable only. The system of linear equation talks about more than one variable. However, the subject still is to find the values of the variables. So, there are actually three ways to solve the system on linear equations such as by graphing, substitution, by elimination. So, but we are just going to focus on the easiest way to solve it and that is by substitution. So, we're gonna focus on substitution. So, for example, the sum of two numbers is 18. The difference of four times the largest and twice the smallest is 56. Find the number. Okay. In this problem, let us represent the smallest and the largest numbers into x and y. So, in this part, meron na tayo x and y. So, ngayon, therefore, our first equation will be x plus y equal 18. Tama? And the second equation will be 4y minus 2x equals 56. 4y minus 2 x equals 56. Sir, saan ang galing yung 4x minus 2y equals 56? Ayan. So, we have doon po yan ang galing sa ating given problem. So, the sum of two numbers is 18. So, ibig sabihin two numbers, the sum of two numbers is 18. So, ang ating two numbers supposed to be that is our x plus y equals 18. And the second equation will be the difference four times the largest. And the difference four times the largest and twice the smallest is 56. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating the difference of four times, we have 4y minus 2x equal our 5. So, find the number. So, ngayon, nahanap natin yung find the number. And second equation will be, we have the difference of 2 times the largest and twice the smallest is 56. So, ibig sabihin, ang difference of the 4 times the largest numbers, we have, for example, 4y minus twice the smallest is 56. So, we have twice. So, twice sa 4 times, ibig sabihin, 4 divided to that is 2. That's why, nagiging 2x equal 56 kasi ang SS represents sa ating equal. So, ngayon, hinahanap natin yung value sa X at saka sa ating Y. Okay, nakuha. So, ngayon, hinahanap natin yung value ng ating Y at saka ang ating X. So, unahin natin yung equation 1. We have X plus Y equals 18. Ayan. So, paano natin makukuha yung Y? Okay. So, we have X. Ayan equals 18. Since positive y, magiging negative y. Okay. So, ano ang ginagamit natin dito? Ang substitution. Ayan, hindi pa yan ang ating final answers. So, next is ang ating second equation. So, we have 4 y 
plus 2x, the value of ating x, that is what? So, we have 18 minus y, ayan, equals 56. Take note, this is our second equation. So, ngayon, hahanapin natin yung value ni x at saka ni y. So, ano ang ating first equation? So, we have x plus y equals to 18. Okay, tama? Yung value sa ating y, paano natin ito ma-susolve? So, we have, ano ang equation to natin? Ang equation to natin, so we have 4y plus 2x, ayan, is equals to 56, diba? Itong ating equation to. So, ngayon, ayan, 4y plus Substitute the value of our x na yan. So, we have 18 minus y. Ayan, equals 56. Asundan. Okay, next. Next, what will you do? So, substitute lang natin. So, 4y plus 2 times 18. That is what? That is 36 minus 2 times negative y. Negative 2y equal 56. So, para makuha natin yung y natin, so, i-combine natin yun. Ayan. So, 4x minus 2y, that is 2y. Ayan, 2y equal 56. Positive 36 magiging negative 36. Okay, so 2y, copy lang, equal 56 minus 36, that is 20. Tama? Okay, next, what will you do? So, divide natin both side by, ayan, dito. Continue natin dito. So, 2y equals 20. Divide both side by 2. That is, y equals 20 divided by 2. That is, ayan. 20 divided by 2. That is, 10. So, is it the final answer? Yes. Ang value na ating y is 10. Gets. How about x? Okay. So, now, that we already have the value of y. So, let us find the value of x. So, gagamitin, gagamitin natin yung first equation. So, let's say, x equals, ayan, x plus y equal 18. So, x equal 18, ayan, y magiging negative, ayan, negative y kasi from positive po siya. So, next is what? So, x equal 18 minus, what is the value of our y? That is 10. Diba? 10? So, x equals 10 minus, ay 18 rather, 18 minus 10, that is 8. So now, ang values ating x is 8 at saka ang ating y is equal to 10. Tama. Okay. So now, ang ating answer ay 8 sa x at saka ang value nating y, that is 10. Do you have any question? Any more clarification? Okay, and that's all for today at sana marami kayong natutunan sa ating tutorial ngayong hapon. See you to my next vlog. Bye-bye! I'm back. Ayan. Kung nakatulong po sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher JM. Laging nagsasabi, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral na mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye.